everyone, and today we're gonna talk about the muffler. I will tell you what a muffler is, why it is needed, what its structure is, and why it reduces the power of the car. And how much it reduces the power of the car, we will check in practice in the game Women's Drive. All in order, let's get started. First, what is a muffler? A muffler is a device installed in the exhaust system of the car, its task is to muffle and reduce the noise of the internal combustion engine. Because as you remember, there are always micro-explosions in the middle of the internal combustion engine, and usually the explosions are accompanied by a powerful sound effect. The muffler silences these explosions. I will explain how he does it a little later, but now let's see how noisy our traffic would be if there were no mufflers in the car. So, yes, we need mufflers. Now let's understand how the muffler works. To better understand how the muffler works, let's start with the engine. In an internal combustion engine, cylinders are installed in which there are pistons, and the pistons are fixed on a special thing called a crankshaft. Engine operation is based on this mechanism. Fuel enters the cylinder, then is compressed by the piston, a spark is supplied, and the same micro explosion occurs in the middle of the cylinder. This micro explosion pushes the piston out and the piston rotates the crankshaft. Later, through the crankshaft, the torque is sent further to the wheels, but this is not important to us now. That's right. Returning to the explosion in the cylinder. After the explosion, gases, residues after the oxidation reaction are expected to remain. These gases are exhaust gases, which are discharged through the exhaust pipes. Along with the gases, the sound of the explosion goes through the exhaust pipes. This is a property of sound. It cannot simply disappear inside the engine. Of course, part of the sound is absorbed on the way through the exhaust pipes. But this sound is so powerful that it cannot be absorbed entirely in the pipe. Therefore, at some point, a muffler is installed in the pipe. So how does the muffler absorb all this sound? Let's look at its structure. Pipes with holes and partitions are installed in the muffler. Inside, between the partitions, these pipes are wrapped with the sound-absorbing stuffing. Most often, it is a basal fiber. Basal fiber looks like this. It is used here because it's a good noise absorber, and it is also very resistant to high temperatures, because the gases coming out of the engine are expected to be very, very hot. Well, here is the whole working principle of the muffler. When the sound enters in, it begins to reflect from the partitions located in it, and then it is gradually absorbed by the basal fiber. But there is also the main problem caused by the muffler. Previously, without a muffler, gases calmly passed through the pipe and went out. But now, they are delayed for some time in the muffler, and the engine needs to push them forward. That is, before, as I said, the engine spent all its power on the spin in the crankshaft, but now it has to spend part of the power on pushing gases out of the engine. In short, in fact, the muffler takes over part of the engine's power. That is why racing cars sound louder than ordinary cars. They have not only more powerful engines, but also less powerful mufflers. And in professional motorsports, mufflers are not used at all, because every drop of car power is important there. I hope you understood how the muffler works, and why it reduces the power of the car, and now let's move on to the test. How much does the muffler reduce the power of the car? We will test as usual. One ordinary car, the other is identical to it, only I will remove the muffler from it. There will be three tests in total. First two tests on ordinary cars, and then the third on racing cars. These are the cars for the first test. Here is how a car with a muffler sounds. And a car without a muffler. Oh 
let's start the first test. But before that I would like to ask you to subscribe to the channel. I put a lot of effort into my videos and your subscription will support me a lot. You can also like this video to promote it further on YouTube. I will be very grateful for that. After the test, we can already see a certain difference. The car without a muffler was 0.3 seconds faster in acceleration to 100 km per hour and had a 6 km per hour higher top speed. Now the test was on more powerful cars. The acceleration to 100 differed by 0.15 seconds, but the top speed was 10 km per hour higher. As we can see, there is a difference and it is quite significant. Let's see if it will be on a racing cars. There was no difference in acceleration to 100 km per hour, but the top speed differed by 4 km per hour. Despite the fact that the car is a racing car, it still has a muffler and it takes away a little bit of power. So, what a general conclusion? We need mufflers, it would be impossible to live and drive without them, but at the same time the principle of mufflers is not perfect. It takes a significant part of the car power. But there is no replacement for it, so it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If so, please put a like to help me and my channel develop. I will be very grateful. Also, if you have any questions or ideas for new videos, write them in the comments, I always read and answer them. Thanks again for watching, see you soon.